Uh, was that a more optimistic budget uh, than expected? Good morning, Bell. Well, the Chancellor, Philip Hammond, is known as the Eeyore of the Cabinet. He's always said to be a bit glum, and he's had a really tight fist around the country's finances, both when he was reforming the military of defence and now as the Chancellor. But there'll be those that say that the austerity uh, that's been in place in the UK for much of the last eight years was more of a political project than necessity at times, that it was ideological driven in the way that it acted. But Philip Hammond was trying to frame his budget as people being the ones who got us out of this, that it was hardworking Britons who now deserved something back. And that's what's reflected in the front pages overnight. Philip Hammond had a difficult job, but he'll be pretty pleased with what he saw. In the uh, Telegraph this morning, taxpayers handed Brexit bonus. Uh, the Times, it's a giveaway gamble. The Sun, no tricks, just treats. Philip Hammond actually did the budget on a Monday for the first time since the 1960s to specifically avoid having to do it tomorrow on Halloween. And then there is the mirror saying, is that it? So this is Philip Hammond hoping that the, the steps that he's taken in the past couple of years, he's been very tight fisted on the finances, trying to build a war chest, meaning that the UK is prepared as it can be for Brexit. And he's hoping that some of the spending that he's done will really try to stimulate the economy. Uh, well, with all that in mind, of course, it does depend on that smooth transition from, uh, from the EU. What happens if there's no deal? Well, Philip Hammond made it clear that uh, this is all on the OBR's uh, forecast, the Office of Budget Responsibility, for having a good deal. And he was very much saying to his own backbenchers and Cabinet colleagues that we can do all this. We can help people. We can help the working people we're meant to be here to represent if we get a deal. And we all need to come together for that. Because if there is no deal, he said, I will need a full fiscal event in the spring. That means an emergency budget. And that would see him having the, uh, pa the power to cut the budgets of his colleagues in cabinet. So I think that Philip Hammond is going to be saying to them, look, I've given the British people a pretty good offer. You've got to deliver a deal now.